Good afternoon. I'm Leslie Lewis, and I am here to do another uh, session of yoga with you. I'm very excited um, to be doing that today. So um, if you remember from our last session, we start with a breathing exercise every time we meet. So today we're going to do countdown to calm. Um, so basically, we're going to hold up our hand like this. And we're going to count to five as we breathe in and then count back down to zero as we breathe out. So here we go. And we're going to do that a couple of times. So let's breathe in again. And out. One more time in and out. Very good. All right. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to have to move my Sorry, I should have played with this beforehand. Okay. So we're going to start in mountain pose, which is just standing. And then we're going to bring our hands up over our head and we're going to do the swaying tree pose. So we're going to sway from side to side. And back to the middle and do it again. and back to the middle, and then down into ragdoll. You're gonna kind of put your feet shoulder width apart, kind of bend your knees and just hang. And then bring your legs together, back into swaying tree. Back to the middle, do each side again. Back to the middle, back down into ragdoll. Now we're gonna go down into what we call frog. So you're gonna be like a frog and then you're gonna jump up. One more time. And then we're going to go into gorilla. So you're going to kind of put your elbows on your knees and sway your arms from side to side. And then we're going to go into chair pose. So you're going to act like you're sitting in a chair. And then back down into ragdoll. and into frog. You're gonna jump. Back into gorilla, side to side. Into chair. And back down into frog. Then we're gonna do a side plank so you can put your Leg like this, arm up. If you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you can put this leg out straight. We're gonna hold it and then down and do the other side. I'm not gonna get it on that side today. Then we're gonna go down into tabletop, which is just on your hands and knees, like so. And you're gonna arch down, arch your back down into cow, and then up into cat. 
We're gonna do that two more times. Cow, cat. When you arch down into cow, make sure you look straight up, straight ahead. And down into cat like this. One more time. Cow. Cat. And then we're going to do bird dog on both sides. So it's going to be opposite leg and arm. And again, look straight ahead. Put your fingers and hold that. And then other side. We're going to hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Back down, we're gonna go into child's pose. So put your bottom to your feet. Put your arms straight out. Put your head in between your arms. And just let yourself chill out for a minute. All right. Gonna stand back up into mountain pose. Arms up to the side, to the side. Then you're gonna go into tree. So arms straight up, foot up, hold for five, four, three, two, one. And down, side. To side, arms straight up into tree on the other side. Five, four, three, two, one. And back down into ragdoll. And up, sway. And then we're just going to do a straightforward bend. So you're going to bend at your waist and try to touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, you can grab a hold of the back of your calves. Get as far down as you possibly can. All right. Now we're going to sit down into this pose is called staff pose. So you're just sitting with your legs out in front of you. We're gonna go into river pose, touch your toes. Again, if you can't make it to your toes, get as far down your legs as you can. If you start here today, the next time, try to reach a little further and then a little further and a little further, just like that. All right, back into tabletop. We're gonna do bird dog again on both sides and we're gonna hold for five, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Back into tabletop. We're gonna do cow and cat again. So again, cow is arched down and cat is arched up. I'm gonna do that two more times. Cow, cat. Cow, cat. And then we're gonna put our legs up behind us like this in plank. Put your arms down in front of you like this. And this is dolphin. Then we're gonna go up into cobra. Arms straight down, feet down, and then push up into down dog. So you're basically making a V with your body. 
The next pose we're going to do is pigeon. So you're going to put one leg bent in front of you, the other leg flat on the floor, and kind of just stretch a little bit. Then we're going to go into staff pose. This direction and do pigeon on the other side. Again, just stretch a little. Back into staff this direction. We're going to do pigeon again. Up into plank. And down dog. Down into tabletop. And then you're just going to stand on your knees like so. We're going to do half camel. So you're going to touch the heel of one foot. Put this arm up in the air and look up at it. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to try to touch both heels at the same time. That's called camel. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand back on knees. And we're going to do our side plank again. Five, four, three, two, one. And other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Down into plank. into tabletop and child's pose. And we're going to sit in river again. And then we're going to go to bridge. So you're going to lay completely down. Put your arms to your side and lift your bottom off the ground. We're going to do that a couple of times. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. And lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up into river. We're going to go into then we're going to lay back down. Arms make a T with your body. You're going to bring your legs up. You're going to take your knees from side to side. This is called laying twist. Back to the middle. The other side. In the middle, to the other side, in the middle, and the other side. Back up into tabletop, and we're going to do cow and cat again three times. Cow. Cow, cat, cow, cat. 
Then we're gonna push up into down dog. Try to get your heels as close to the floor as you possibly can. And then down into Cobra. Back to down dog. And into Cobra. And back up to down dog. When you go into Cobra, you just kind of slide your body into Cobra. Cobra. Okay. So that's our workout for today. Um, we're gonna do our chill time. So again, you can lay flat. You can, I like to lay in the twisting pose like we did earlier, like this. Would I do mine one way or the other? Whichever way is comfortable for you. Again, you can turn the lights off. You can leave them on. You can sit with your legs crossed. Um, just about any way you want to lay or sit, um, you're welcome to do that. So we're going to get into this. Gently close your eyes now and softly repeat, I am still. Notice your body relax instantly and easily. Allow your body to sink down into your bed further and further as your muscles become soft and limp. It feels so comfortable. Your body just seems to relax more and more with each and every word you hear. Imagine now a small sparkle somewhere deep inside your heart. This small sparkle begins to glow brighter now and you feel it reaching up and expanding out. The glow becomes brighter and brighter, filling up your chest. You feel the warmth spreading out, touching your tummy, your shoulders getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter, flowing all the way down to your toes. Now feel your body glowing like a radiant star shining out. This wonderful light is your light, your shining light, your personal brilliance. It is all the love in your heart. It is the sum of your possibilities and your possibilities are endless. Shine your light wherever you go. Sharing your light makes others happy and it makes you happy as well. It's a wonderful feeling to share your light and by doing so, you become a good example to them. When you shine your light brightly, it's let, it lets others know that it is okay for them to shine their light brightly too. When we all do this, it makes the world a more beautiful, peaceful place. Sharing your light can be as simple as sharing your smile or doing a kind deed. Hold a happy thought about someone or send a happy wish to someone who is feeling sad. It can mean helping someone who is younger than you or not as strong as you. All of this is shining your light and you will discover a wonderful, warm, fuzzy feeling inside your heart when you do this. This wonderful feeling comes from doing what you were created to do, feeling and spreading love and joy. Sharing your light means sharing the real you and being who you truly are. It means standing up for what is right and making the choices that feel right in your heart. Now allow that bright light inside to become like a gentle shower of fireworks. See how beautiful and amazing you are? You light up the sky. As the fireworks sizzle and flare down, imagine your brilliant light touching the heart of every person you know and will meet. They feel happier just because they know you. How wonderful and blessed life is. Now take in a deep breath and bring back all the good feelings you have right now with you as you slowly stretch your body. Open your eyes when you're ready. You've done an amazing job today. 
So that's our yoga session for today. Um, I hope that you all had a good workout. Um, I know I did, if you couldn't tell I was breathing a little heavy there a couple of times. Um, but I hope that you continue to take what we're learning here and um, continue to use that in your daily life, um, whether that be the breathing exercises that we've talked about um, or just merely stretching and um, you know, being a better you. So thank you guys for coming and joining today. I really appreciate it.